All right, so I got this new Linksys EA4500. I'm gonna be setting up. All right, so I got the Ethernet uh, cable going from my computer to the router. Um, make sure you don't plug it into the yellow internet plug. Make sure it's plugged into one of the the blue ports that are labeled one, two, three, or four. I got this fancy um, setup CD, but I don't want to use that. I want to set it up manually online. So the way you do that is just open up an internet browser, go to the toolbar, and type in the IP address 192.1. Six eight point one point one, and then it will try to autofill that forward slash there. You want to make sure you delete that, and then hit enter. All right. Yeah, I understand it's not set up yet. And he wants me to, or it wants me to use the CD. All right, I went down to the don't have an account. All right, so I filled in all the, all the information. I'm going to create an account, so hopefully I can log in now. Oh, it's going to make me go check my email. All right, so links this sent me an email to set up my account and now I just gotta click on that link Let's see what happens and my account's now valid alright so I logged back into my router um... you know I gotta enter the password for the router itself Okay, so the default password is admin, if you haven't set one up yet. So then at this point you're going to want to go in and um, change your password. Alright, so now that you're logged in and you want to reset your router's password, just go to connectivity. And then uh, right here you can uh, change the router password so it's right there. Click on edit and eventually maybe something popped up down below. There it is. Current password is admin. And then type in your new password. Alright, so now I've got the router password changed and now I want to change the security and everything on my wireless network. Alright, so uh, to change your wireless settings, uh, since it's dual band, there's two of them here. Um, one for the 2.4 gigahertz and one for the 5 gigahertz. So just click on this and, and then now you can click on here to get all your settings. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change, change these. All right, and to get your password option there, you got to select a security mode. And, uh, There you go. So select WPA to personal and you can get a password option. And it's going to display it. So, um, And once you're done setting it up, just hit apply. And then you should be good to, uh, to go for your wireless.